Crowded Home Design Team and today I wanted to share an adorable new collection from Heartfelt Creations that you can get at Cut It Home and this is the Winking Frog collection. This by far is one of the cutest collections I've seen. I'm going to set the stamps and dies aside for a moment just to share with you the paper collection. You, If you get the bundle pack of everything you get their um, all their stamps and dies that coordinate together and also you can get this Heartfelt Creations paper. There are 24 double sided sheets and they're 12 by 12 and they have beautiful designs on them. Let me just flip through them quickly. So on all the um, paper, in all the paper collections you get this tag set where you'll get little uh, cards, journaling cards, you get journaling tags, little uh, postage stamps here, little tickets. So these are just adorable. And this paper here has little designs on it that you can use by itself. You can fussy cut out or they do also coordinate with their dies which I'll show you in a moment. Here's the front side. They're six by six. Adorable imagery on it on this. Here's some more cut aparts and tags. So these are great to use with cards or scrapbook layouts or a mini album, whatever you'd like to do. Today I made a easel card that I'll be sharing with you in a moment. Look at these adorable mushrooms. Here's another one with the cut aparts or um, you can use them with the die set. These are perfect for card fronts. They have border strips as well. Here's some more border strips. Love this polka dot. Look at these cute little cut aparts. So as you can see, this is an adorable collection. They have the two stamp sets that coordinate with the dies. So this one that I'm showing here is the Flirting Frogs, the Winking Frogs, and it shows you right here that it pairs with Flirting Frogs die. And here is the Flirting Frogs die. So if you turn these over, you'll see what you get with this stamp. You get the sentiment these adorable frogs under the mushroom, the ones on the lily pad, and they show you the sizes that they are. And if you've not used Heartfelt Creation stamps, they are very high quality. They, they have a foam padding, so you're going to get a great image every time. Here's these, the little toad kicking back, and then the two on the vine. And then, as you can see, they will cut out your dies perfectly. Now these dies also can be used on this paper as well. So like this large die here will cut this out perfectly. Then we also have these three here that show you that they coordinate with the Leaping Frogs die. Look how cute these are. So it'll cut out these borders you have coordinating dies that'll cut out the borders. This one and this one here. And again, I use this one here, the um, uh, mushroom one, and cut it out directly from the paper. So as you can see, here's the row of mushrooms. I know, let me turn it right side up. You can place the die on that and that'll cut it out perfectly for you. There are also these three here, Water Lily, Fiddle and Frog, and the matching die set. So here's the Fiddle and Frog. It says, relax, it's your special day, you're totally awesome. And then here is their Water Lily, you get the lily pads and the flowers, which I made some, and again I'll show you what I have on a card. Here's some of the water lilies, and you can add the flowers to the center. Here's one that's done. 
and Emma Lou from Heartfelt Creations has a wonderful tutorial that I will link in Cut at Home's blog post that shows you how you can make these beautiful flowers. For my flowers, I did use the Heartfelt Creations Deluxe Flower Shaping Kit. To me, this is invaluable. I use this when I um, make any type of dimensional flowers. It comes with the foam pad and it comes with different nibs that clip right into your stylus and also a flower curling tool. So these are great to have. This is a great set to have and on the back it shows you the different sizes that you get. You also get a paper piercer with it. So I use those to create my flowers and let me show you my card I made here. I made an adorable little easel card. So it stands up like this. This card is a five and a half inch square card. I used the gorgeous paper collection. I added a line of pearls around the outside. And here's some of my lily pads with the flowers on the inside. Here is one of the pieces that I use the die directly from the paper pad and cut it out. And I use that on the front of my card. Same with these mushrooms here. These were on the paper pad and the die cut them out perfectly for, for me. I added glossy accents to her lily pad, the flowers, all the mushroom tops, and then I added drops of glossy accents to make it look like water on there. Hopefully the camera will pick that up. See the dimension on the mushrooms? I absolutely love it. For the center of my card, I wanted basically like a see-through window, so I just used a Spellbinders Nest Abilities die. This is the classic scallop rectangles that is also from Cut at Home. I used that into the center of my card, ran that through my Sizzix Big Shot, and that gave me my little bit of a window. So I added some of the pattern paper to the back. I stamped one of these sentiments from the collection, Have I Told You Lately That I Love You? and I wanted a little bit of a window. So what I used is the Heartfelt Creations Clear Cardstock. You've seen me use this in several videos. I absolutely love it. It's much thicker than transparency that you get from the office supply store. So I don't know if you'll, you can pick up on that little brick. There you go. You could pick up on that little brick stenciling in that. How I did that is I was trying to make a stencil using my um, Cameo and I quickly found out that this is way too thick to cut out of the Cameo but look what a great design it gives you. So I made a few of them just to use um, on cards and different things like that to give me a design and I made that one for this card here. Again let me show it to you in the light. It just gives it a little um, added texture to my card. I also added some more of the little flowers here and what I did for the flowers and the lily pad, again you can cut some of the uh, lily pads out from the paper collection, but I simply heat embossed them. I used Versamark clear ink with the stamp and then I used some white embossing powder and I simply took my distress markers and ran them over it to give my color and I did this super quick. And as you can see, that gives me my color of my lily pad here. And then I used the dye, coordinating dye, and cut it out. I did that with the flowers as well, and that made for really quick coloring, really quick flowers, and I was really happy with the colors of them. So to the inside, I have another piece that I fussy cut out from the paper collection. I used another one of the Spellbinders dies for my sentiment. And then I added a piece of the background paper, but this came on it, so I cut that out separate and popped it up with some chipboard. It gives it dimension, and it also holds my easel card in place when it's set, it, set up. See if you could pick up the glossy accents on that. And then I added another large lily pad with flower, again, with dots of or drops of glossy accents. So again, that holds my easel card in place. And this is an absolutely fun collection to play with. I hope you stop by and check it out. I will have 
all the information listed down in the description box and everything that I've used in today's project listed. One last thing I'd like to mention is for my easel card, I cut out an 11 by five and a half. I scored it at two and three quarters and five and a half. And when you fold on those score lines, that will give you your easel card, but yet it will lay down as well. So again, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed today's project and check out Cut It Home. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.